Hello, hello. Just gonna um, do a quick video. I am asked like a million times um, a week, probably. As a, not really a million, but a lot of times about the books that I use in my journals and for ephemera and making bits and pieces. So rather than keep answering, you know, the same question, which is difficult because quite often if I make a journal, I'll pull book pages together, some of which I've already taken apart, because what I will often do is gut books, um, and I'll show you an example of that in a minute. Um, I'll, I'll gut the book, take the pages out that I want, and I will get rid of the rest because I just don't have the space to store hundreds of, well, I've got a lot of books, um, but I am running out of space. So what I thought I'd do is I'm just doing a video on the books that I know I'm asked about a lot because they're the books I use a lot um, and show you the covers, give you a little flip through inside and, you know, you can decide if you want to purchase them. Now, the other thing I'm asked so often is where I get my books and, you know, the answer is everywhere. <laughs> I get them from all over the place. Um, Amazon. I get a lot of books from Amazon. Um, I don't buy any books from eBay, but there are books on eBay. <clears throat> um, I go to lots of vintage shops and I will pick up vintage books, um, charity shops, which you call thrift stores in the US. And um, also um, in the summer, if the weather's good, I might go to a car boot or two. Um, so, you know, you can't get your books where I get my books from unless you go to Amazon. Because, you know, you can't nip down to Clara Bow, which is, you know, a mile away from my house because you, you're not here. <laughs> so, you know, where I get my books from is not really going to help you. But if you can see the book, you know, you'll be able to search for them. You know, probably on Amazon is your best, your best port of call, to be honest, unless you can get to, you know, thrift stores. Because that's a great place to buy books. And, um, yeah, so um, this one is... A book I use quite a lot it's called Wildflowers of the British Isles um, so this is the cover and I'll just give you a flick through inside um, this one cost me £1.50 um, which is a bargain I've paid a lot more for a copy of this one and you know this is perfect for fussy cutting for using as pages in your journal and for making envelopes for making ephemera and you know if you think about I think I've paid about five pounds for one of these before and even these pages at the back the text pages you know they can be used there are 215 pages in here double-sided so obviously you're looking at over 100 pages of usable paper and if you're paying a fiver for that that's cheaper than any paper pad isn't it so that's book number one <clears throat> another book i use a lot of is a victorian flower album and again you are looking at every single page is floral and i use this book a ton uh, you know i've bought so many copies of this book um, it's fantastic and again you know you're looking at I mean I've paid up to five pounds for these on Amazon but you're looking at 112 pages so you've got at least 50 sheets of usable you know floral paper so that is a Victoria flower album um, this one is one um, I've paid 50 pence for this one um, I'm just going to quickly show you these. I've I've made an absolute ton of pockets and journal cards, and I'm going to do a tutorial in the next day or two. Um, but the copy of this book that I used to make those was again about five pounds. But I still think five pounds is worth it. This is a, each page is single sided on this, but every single page is floral. You know, so you've got a lot of paper, uh, you know, to use. And again, um, I mean, how many pages? And these are not numbered typically. Um, yeah, we're looking probably, I think that's about 100. So, you know, this is called the Concise British Flora in Colour. Um, I'm not sure when this was published. It was 50 shillings. So it's quite an older book. Um, but again, I've 
certainly bought 69 1969 this is from 1969 i've definitely bought a copy of this one on amazon um and this one i was just lucky enough to pick up at my local charity charity store so let's move on we obviously all know and love edith holden um i'm not going to go into that but this is absolutely available on amazon um these I love these books and I pick these up whenever I see them. The pages are like this at the back. I'll show you a show you a so you've got florals at the back and insects and birds and all sorts of things depending on you know what the book which one of the books you've got because there are I think there are five or six of these. At the front is more um, photographic and text, but again these make fantastic backgrounds for tags so these are fantastic um i love these i just love these books and i'll show you some things that i've made with those and again i'm going to go into more detail when i do the tutorial but um using the full pages we've got some you know pockets and full side tags so those are um the natural history of britain and northern europe so these are brilliant Okay, um, what have we got here? Um, so I'm going to do another video on those. Okay, um, picking up books like this. Um, this one's Butterflies of Britain and Europe. Um, this one cost me 75 pence and this is perfect for fussy cutting. You know, these kind of books with the, with the butterflies in are absolutely perfect for fussy cutting and other things and I'm going to do a small it's not a tutorial but a little explanation of something using one of these um, in the next video which I hope to film straight after this if it's not too long and I haven't run out of battery so books like this are great for fussy cutting okay um, I buy a ton of these whenever I see them I buy them they are called the ABC of gardening and these are perfect. I mean, this is from 1954. And these are perfect because it's all kind of nature related, garden related. And I use a lot of this text in, um, in cards and things like that. And that's what I have used on these collage tags, this particular book. So, you know, that's... These, these kind of books are fantastic. You do not have to look for images. They don't have to have all images in them. Um, Colin's Gem Guide, these are again fantastic for making. Sorry, let me just squeeze around the hole. These kind of cards I used um, a very similar book to make some of these, um, the lovely Wendy's kind of um, tags. Um, and again, single-sided. Every page is an image and they do a flower one, you know, and again, these are on Amazon and I know they're on Amazon because um, a friend of mine, me and a friend of mine from Canada, um, love Chantelle, hi Chantelle, um, we were um, FaceTiming recently and we had a, had a look um, at some books and these are there. Um, this one, um, this is an example really of buying books that you probably think aren't worth buying or possibly not worth buying. Um, these are not full page images, it's a shiny paper. Um, there are pictures on both sides. Uh, the florals, they're not, you know, I mean, these are beautiful, but it is shiny. Um, I bought this because I instantly saw what I could do with these. Um, literally, I take the pages out, oh, you can see that I've already taken um, I've already taken the back signature out of this one. Um, but that is, this book is where I, how I made these tags. And I'll do a couple in the tutorial. Um, and what I did is take the pages out, cut them in half, fold them in half so you've got um, the floral one side and text on the back. Did a little collage and gessoed over them. And I gessoed them because I don't like shiny paper. Um, but I just saw the potential in this book. So look at books and don't dismiss them immediately because you think they're not going to work because they might. So this is a fantastic one. This um, 
field guide in colour to wildflowers. I'm hoping I can you, you can see all the covers actually now I've done these. And these pages I did have on my desk but I don't now. That I've used the whole book pretty much. I've got a few pages left and I've just literally there was one side was floral, one side was text. I've folded all the pages in half and glued them and now I've got the base to make lots of different tags and things with that. So this is another one which is, you know, pages and pages of florals. Okay, let's talk observer books. Um, I've got three here on my desk. Um, Wildflowers and British Wildflowers are the same book, they're just dated differently, um, as far as I can tell. Um, these are perfect for journaling cards, for putting into, I love using these pages as they are in my journals because they're vintage looking and I have a huge, well not a huge collection, I probably have 12 of these books, you can see this one is well used. Um, this one cost me £1.25 but you can expect to pay anything up to £5 for one of these, some of them even more. This one was £4 because it's been drawn in. Um, these, um, I all I pick them up whenever I see them. The butterfly one is not actually as good. You're, you get almost halfway through the book before you start getting to the colour images. They're very small and they're quite blurry. <clears throat> and they're not every single page like they are in the flowers. Another brilliant one of these is the garden flowers. There's one on grasses, there's one on trees. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. And these books, if you see them, pick them up because there are a million things you can do with these. Okay, <clears throat> Benningfield. Gordon Benningfield, watercolour artist, amazing. I have at least one copy of every single one of his books. Um, this is one of my favourites because I think I've got about four or five copies of this one at the moment. Um, having said that, I don't use them as much now as I used to. But, you know, these are just amazing. Poetry, watercolour images, um, you know, they're just fantastic. And every single one of his books, some of them are quite large and a bit difficult to use without um, cutting down. But these pages, you know, I take them out, put them into a journal, maybe fold them over if it's in a traveler's notebook. But these images are just stunning. And all of his work is, you know, so Benningfield, if you see anything from Benningfield, you know, pick that up. Okay. Um, Reader's Digest. Um, some of the pages in the Reader's Digest books, this one is slightly semi-gloss, so, um, you know, again, you could use them for tags, gessoing, things like that. I get a ton of fussy cutting out of my Reader's Digest books, and you can see here I've got a few already trimmed that I'm, I'm going to cut out um, at the front here. Um, this is not one of the best Reader's Digest books um, for florals. But, you know, you've got tags, you've got, you could fold them in half and that's a page in your journal. Um, th these are just, they're just awesome really. Uh, these are my favourite pages, the kind of grey ones that they have dotted, dotted, dotted throughout these ones. You know, I love, I love these pages. And like I said, they are glossy. I would probably cut this in half, fold it in half and have two small tags out of that. Okay, another one. Um, nature sketchbook, beautiful, absolutely beautiful, gorgeous images. It is available on Amazon, and that's where I've picked up my copies of this book before. Um, I make a lot of envelopes out of this book, so that's another one. And this one was recommended to me by one of my lovely subbies. It's called um, Island Diary of a Year on Eastdale. And it is very similar to the Edith Holden, but um, it has a soft feel to it. It's it's stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous images in here. Um, up until recently, I only had one copy of this book and I was hoarding it. I've now got a second copy, so I'm going to start using it a little bit more. Um, and maybe we'll do something in the tutorial 
with um, this book, but it's just beautiful. I mean, look at that. You know, I mean, there are a few pages in here I wouldn't use. Um, Dead animals, a couple of those, which, you know, are a bit. Yeah. I think this is the one anyway. I'm not going to flick through to try and find it. But that's another fantastic book. Um, now, I do have an awful mess to clean up now because I've got books everywhere. Um, I'm going to be coming um, straight back with um, a little video on something else that I've said in my group I'm going to show. I was going to put it in this video, but I thought I'd do a separate video for that. So... I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. That's just a small selection. I can't show you everything and it is just the nature stuff. Speak to you soon. Bye.